Hi Libra, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, details how to win a free personal reading and then details um, for the extended reading. There will be a link if this reading resonates with you. You can check it out. Wow, they're just falling out here. And uh, the extended will also be in the comments as well. So I will look at the next uh, three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I treat it like a personal reading and I will look at future love energy. So uh, check it out if you like. Again, it will be in the comments and the description box. Okay, so we already have two cards. All right, how many dropped out there? Okay, two more, it's fine. Uh, so let's see what the energy is here for you, Libra. Okay, I wanna find the first card that dropped out. Okay, the first card that dropped out was the Queen of Pentacles. Really nice, with the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So I feel like there's some sort of offer or someone coming towards you. Feels like somebody here um, sees your worth. Definitely, uh, uh, definitely a very strong energy there. Now this could be someone coming towards you. Somebody uh, who could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now we also have here the Nine of Wands and we also have here Temperance. Okay, now, could be some timing involved, maybe coming together in divine timing. Nine of Wands, um, I'm just going to say this could be somebody not wanting to, uh, somebody here wanting to fight for this connection, not wanting to give up here, all right? Can also be... Um, a card here like you're not giving up here libra on love you're not giving up on finding that person here uh you know definitely a committed energy but i feel like this may be a particular person here okay somebody here maybe who's wanting to reconcile we're going to clarify we're going to see we got sagittarius energy aries leo and capricorn taurus virgo we also have here strong Aquarius, we already said Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. We got the world card here, okay? So it feels like there's some sort of shift or change, a new cycle, I feel. You got the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. Shows me upcoming here, there's some sort of victory. There's a change happening with a victory with, uh, we got a king of cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, feels like a victory in love here okay with the world so and we I do see the eight of Pentacles there so I feel like there's somebody coming towards you that uh, wants to put the work in here so it can be like I said somebody here um, who is not going to give up too easily on you Libra so it could be somebody you know could be somebody new here so Let's see here. Definitely feels like a strong foundation with the Ten of Pentacles. Like what there is to look forward to. Maybe not necessarily right now. But let's see what we got. Oh, I just talked about strong foundation. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Let's see what else. Okay, we got the Seven of Cups. I'm just going to pull your cards. Five of Wands. You could have options, competition here, we'll see. There's your energy as the Empress. Let's keep going. We have the Five of Cups. Okay, we got a Two of Cups here. We have a Hierophant. We have Taurus energy. Oh, and look at that. You've got two Aces here. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles interesting okay all right and bottom of the deck here okay look at that bottom of the deck on that deck and this deck we have the world and we have the tower okay now this could be a sign i feel a divine intervention bringing a new cycle here in love for you we're going to go through this we're going to see what this is about i will clarify as well 
So we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have uh, the Five of Cups here, okay? Now, this could talk about sadness. You could be having sadness or this could be somebody that you're dealing with it, with uh, that could be feeling at a loss. We're going to clarify. We're going to see who this is, all right? Now, it does feel like this is definitely energy here for the long term. Now, it could be you, Libra, maybe feeling disappointed, maybe... Uh, past love has not worked out for you or there was a particular person that didn't work out uh, but we do have here a two of cups and we also have here a seven of cups so seven of cups and the two of cups here okay you may be questioning a lot of things at this time I feel like two um, I feel like possibly there could be more than one energy um, around you is what I'm getting but we'll see this could be somebody too that you um, are feeling like things are at a stalemate maybe feeling like things aren't working um, again we'll clarify we're going to see what that's about and then we have the Hierophant here too so Taurus energy so feels like this could be around maybe feeling like things aren't moving towards a relationship like maybe disappointed that you know you haven't met that person maybe wanting to get married again we will clarify but then this is what's beautiful okay your last two cards here is the empress and the ace of cups there there is a love being offered here to you libra uh, we're going to see who this is what this is all right maybe that's why the timing card is here but like i said the world and the tower feels like there is going to be some sort of shift some sort of shift um, or change here okay so let's see why the queen of pentacles is here please please tell me more about the queen of pentacles okay we got the Four of Swords, okay, and the Three of Cups. All right, so it does feel like for some of you, there may be somebody that you're wanting to come into union with. For others, this just could be, you know, maybe uh, this is a time now where you've spent some time alone, you've thought about what really makes you happy, and now you're ready maybe to get out there and socialize and meet people is what I'm picking up. All right, Libra, let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here, please. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please tell me more. Okay, we got the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so I feel like, Libra, you um, may be feeling conflicted or worried here. Maybe you think a lot about you know what if I'm going to be in a committed relationship I also feel for those of you that you feel that there is someone here that you may be coming into reconciliation with I feel like this could be somebody here where this is someone who has been very conflicted around uh, relationship commitment here this could be someone here I feel too that you could be at a distance from all right and uh, where the two of you were not meeting maybe eye to eye um, or a stalemate here, as I said, could it be around commitment or relationship. But for some of you, it just could be worried, you know, am I going to be single forever? Why is the nine of wands here, please? Why is the nine of wands here? Okay, we have the seven of pentacles and the six of cups. Yeah, more and more, this is feeling like there is somebody here that is missing you. All right, uh, Nine of Wands energy. Okay, thinking about you, thinking about the past, somebody you've invested time with. But it can be also Libra, you know, it can be too. Um, maybe you've had a lot of time to reflect on the past here. Nine of Wands is that not giving up energy. So some of you, you know, uh, if there is not another person, this just maybe you've had a lot of time to think about things. Um, you're not, even though, you know, you're wondering, am I going to meet that person? It's an energy too. I'm not giving up, right? So let's see why temperance is here, please. Sagittarius energy, why is temperance here? Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Emperor. Okay, timing here. Somebody's coming towards you. 
this is an emperor um if you know this person this is someone i feel who's who's planning their move they're probably planning a message here with this knight of pentacles now it does feel this is an energy of somebody reliable coming your way whether this is somebody new or this is somebody here that you know um, but there is change uh, temperance here feels like you know there's been some a timing issue here maybe you've been feeling like things have been going very slowly here uh, if I didn't say it already could be an Aries but we have the Queen of Pentacles someone who's very attracted to you seeing your worth here all right now we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups let's see uh, why the Five of Cups is here please why is the Five of Cups here please Okay, we have a two of pentacles and we have a page of cups. Okay, interesting. Now, this could be you, as I said, just, you know, when it comes to a long-term relationship, maybe some of you um, have been weighing your options about love. Okay, maybe you're starting to connect and talk to people, but I'm just going to say, Libra, I feel like this is somebody here who has regrets. I'm really picking up somebody around in your energy. Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, someone who's going back and forth about communication. Just like I said, this may be somebody slow to communicate with you. Um, uh, definitely someone who is sad or at a loss here. Okay, going back and forth. Uh, maybe because things have been imbalanced. And this person is also feeling alone. So this energy, definitely, I feel Libra more and more. This feels like somebody that you know. Why is the Seven of Cups here? It's here with the Two of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, all right. The Devil. You know, in this deck, I always see, like, this person's hand out. I want you back. <laughs> okay, Capricorn energy. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Not wanting to give up on this. Okay, this could be someone, um, you know, definitely the, talk, the, the devil can talk, talk about the behaviors that we don't like, repeating patterns, you know, toxicity, all of that. Okay, Ace of Wands, this, per, Ace of Wands, this person wants another chance. They want another opportunity. With the Two of Cups, this person does have mutual love. Okay, there's definitely mutual love. It feels what uh, really is in question here with this person. Is this an opportunity for the long term? Because it does feel like there is an imbalance here. That's why this person has, there's some sort of sadness or uh, regret here or feeling at a loss. Let's clarify the five of wands. Um, because that could be why things aren't working here. Why is the five of wands here, please? Why is the five of wands here okay three of pentacles and the queen of swords well um feels like there could have been a third party uh situation here um some outside influence it doesn't have to be another lover it could be friend family member it could even be children okay but the queen of swords here i feel like you stood up for yourself Libra is really what I'm, I'm feeling here. I feel like you set your boundaries with this person is what I get. I'm sensing here you're open to communication. Um, but I feel like, too, you're questioning a lot. You know, it, will this work out for the long term? Okay, we do have the Hierophant here. And that's what I was saying. I feel like, you know, the issue at hand here is relationship. Um marriage okay now we have your your energy here ace of cups now there could be a third person coming into the picture here with this ace of cups so i'm going to clarify the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here please why is the ace of cups here please okay oh my gosh yeah i called it look at that knight of cups and the wheel you got two people here oh my gosh look at this the four of wands you have here um, the Four of Wands, the Wheel, okay, this is clarifying the Ace of Cups uh, and the Knight of Cups, 
Okay, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a romantic opportunity. I feel like this is a new romantic opportunity. I feel like there's another person here that you have dealt with or you that is uh, also coming towards you. Somebody here, I feel that there's a lot of uncertainty of whether this is a relationship that could really work out here. But I feel like, um, you know, the divine intervention, I talked about uh, change in the world here. There's divine intervention happening and there's a new person I feel coming into your life, uh, Libra. There's a birth of something new here with the Empress. So there's somebody else I sense here that's coming towards you. Um, I, you know, it's right here too with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. I feel like Libra, um, you're the one here I feel that's going to have a choice. Now, it could be someone's coming back around. This could be a repeating pattern with this person, or they may display the same patterns. This is someone who may even feel like a temptation for you okay so know that um but there's a new person here uh libra in your energy i'm gonna pull some more cards and then we're gonna get some love oracles what else can you share with libra what else does libra need to know okay oh look at that two of swords you're gonna have to make a decision yes okay eight of pentacles the strength card okay some of you that could be about forgiveness some of you it may be on uh, uh, this other person you know questioning whether things can work here eight of cups or to walk away that's the decision that will it work or, or can i can i forgive and make it work here or um am i going to explore other options and walk away is what i'm feeling there six of cups Oh, look at that. And the world again. Okay. Oh, boy. Here's that emperor. <laughs> Aries energy. Okay. So some of you, um, or a lot of you here, there's a choice between two people. Okay. Somebody you may have um, felt like, you know, behaviors or situations with this person keep repeating, maybe feeling like you're not getting anywhere, okay, you're going to hear from that person. And I feel like that's where with the two of swords, you may um, definitely feel very indecisive or maybe you're not going to make any decisions until you hear what this person has to say with the queen of swords. Eight of Pentacles, again, can this work? Can I forgive? With the uh, Strength card, I feel here. Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, and the World. Strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy. So there's a new cycle I'm sensing here, uh, Libra, and I feel like you're going to have to make some decisions uh, about uh, this other person who I feel is not going to give up. So they're not going to give up easily anyway. So uh, let's see what the oracles have to say here. Love oracles. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Toxic relationship right there with the devil. Now this could be someone who is codependent. There could have been fighting, you know, can't even be a misunderstanding or uh, certain things trigger this person. Okay, we got divine timing. Interesting because we had uh, divine timing as well. So when you uh, were with this person, it may be, like I said, there was divine intervention earlier. The tower, um, it may be that it may not have been the right timing. Okay, crossroads. Yes, you're going to have two doors to choose from, two options. What I'm picking up, this could actually be a major turning point in your life. Um intuition yeah they're telling you to listen to your intuition your sixth sense here okay um your some of you could even be psychic but really listening to your gut feeling about this okay addiction addictions could be involved now it could be this person is very obsessive or they could have again toxicity or some sort of addiction let's see what else comes out for you libra Okay, look at that. We have date. This could be this new person I'm seeing. 
We have family, okay, could be a family, someone who, yeah, this feels like the new energy. See how different it is from this energy? Date, courting, uh, meeting up with someone, someone where family is important. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, interesting, we have ghosted, interesting. Why do we have ghosted here? Okay, regret, interesting. Feels like this other, and magnetic attraction, okay. So this feels like this energy is coming back again, but again, look at that, new, bottom of the deck here, we have new love. So I feel like um, this person is going to be a temptation for you. They, it feels like this could be someone who ghosted you, but I feel like you're going to have a date with somebody here who's very family oriented or someone who uh, family is important to them. So Libra, I'm going to take it to the extent of we're going to see how this plays out over the next three to four weeks. I'm going to look at also this part, the, the person here um, from the past, what they're thinking, feeling, upcoming actions intentions we'll get love notes and guidance and we're also going to do future new love energy and future love energy with this person so i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love